Hey everyone, it's Anna with CoffeeandLipGloss.com coming to you with the part two video of my memory keeping using the HP Sprocket device. My cute little um, handy dandy Bluetooth wireless printer that I use with my smartphone. Um, link, uh, the link to watch the part one video is gonna be up in the corner. Um, that's my sort of rundown of how you use this cute little device. But now it's part two, which is now that I have all these cute little pictures, um, I'm going to start with my son's graduation from preschool. That is going to mark the beginning of our summer 2017, um, our first scrapbook. And what I want to show you is an idea that I got from Amy Tangerine, who's huge in the planner community. She uses traveler's notebooks to memory keep. Um, for me, it just seemed like a much better way to... Um, just less intimidating because one, if you look at the size of these pages, they're a lot smaller. So you don't have to worry about filling up an entire 12 by 12 sheet, which is usually the size that scrapbooks come in. Um, and then two, what I love is how modular the system is. You have these thin little notebooks. You can add multiple ones in one of these transfers notebook covers. So you can have like your whole summer full of memories in one of these. And I wanted to show you this really cute travelers notebook. I got it from Michaels. It just seems so cute and tropical with the palm trees. So I thought this would be great for the summer. It also seemed very durable because it's not made out of leather, which is what the traditional Midori Traveler's Notebooks are made out of. It seems like something I don't have to worry about necessarily getting wet or who knows. So anyways, I thought I love the colors and I love the, the theme of the palm trees. So I thought this would be perfect for a summer memory keeping. And to kick off the first notebook, I wanted to... Um, do stuff with my son's preschool graduation. So what I wanted to show you is this notebook itself came with this insert, which is lovely because it's really thick as a lot of sheets of paper. But um, Amy Tangerine does them in her own that she sells. Um, I will link to where you can buy these down below. I thought these were really cute. I got these at PlannerCon 2017. I love this one with the cameras. It seemed very appropriate for scrapbooking. Um, and then the other thing is, you also can make your own. Um, I love doing this. This is a cover that I made out of scrap of paper. And look at this one, guys, with this adorable mermaid print. Oh, it's divine, I love it. So I thought that was very summery. I thought these yellow uh, circles, this yellow print with the white circles, they're surrounded in gold foil. I thought those were very summery. I'm going to line this, I made a mistake, I was going to do a third notebook out of this adorable sunset printed paper, but I cut it too short because I'm a dork. And so I'm going to use it to line the inside of this one, and I might do another, I might line this one too, I'm not sure. This paper's a lot thicker than this paper, so that's why I don't, might not need an, a liner for it. But what I want to show you really quickly is how easily you can make these yourself. If you either have scrapbook paper, or you know what I thought I can use was a chipboard that comes with my cereal boxes. I bet I can use that to make one of these folders, the outside part, and then decorate it with stickers, or um, I don't know, like, um, I used to love doing collages with magazine tears, or even um, wrapping paper, if you have really nice wrapping paper. So even something as basic that you already have in your house is chipboard, box, cardboard, from cereal boxes or cracker boxes, which if you're a mom like me, you have a lot of those laying around. That's something you can use. Um, the only thing you need to know are the dimensions. So I will put the dimensions for a basic traveler's notebook size down below because you know that, you know what, now that I even think about it, you could even make your own outside part. The only thing you really need is you need to make holes here for the elastic that you use to strap your notebook in there because this is how you do it. You just go like this. You go to the middle of the notebook, put the elastic, and it keeps it there. Now some notebooks have multiple uh, bands that you can add more no notebooks to it. So um, that's something you can even, you can, sorry I can't talk, that's even something you can make at home very easily. I will find a tutorial, um, there's some amazing planner women like Corey from The Reset Girl or Christy from The Planner Society who do awesome how-to videos for how to do a lot of the stuff at home. So I'm sure one of them has done one of these videos on how to make an outside traveler's notebook. So I will find a link to that put that below as well. But what I like though, I do like buying these because they're really not that expensive. The one at Michael's, I think it was $14.99 with like, I think a 50% off coupon. So I got it for like eight bucks. Um, but I do like making these because these are kind of more of a pain to find and buy. And they're boring when you do find them. They're usually white or, or, or just like cardboard color. 
Ex unless you're someone like Amy Tangerine. So this one I think I bought from her for like five bucks, but for a lot less than that, you can make your own. So I'm gonna show you how really quickly. Um, this is regular white paper. I think I bought a heavier weight. I think this is 20 something weight. And the weight that we use in Xerox machines is like in the teens. Um, so what you do is you just have to make sure. So with height wise, it's almost already there. It's just slightly longer, if you can see the margin right there. But width wise, what you do is, and this is just a swing line paper trimmer that I got, I think on Amazon, my favorite store in the whole wide world. And I'm gonna do this really basic and not even measure. I'm gonna eyeball it, which probably isn't the smartest idea. Now what I notice about the paper though, you gotta make it just slightly narrower than the width of your folder because when you fold that paper in half, it can get, it can stick out of the side of the, the, the cover. So hold on, <coughs> let me show you what I mean by that. So, and actually let me trim that top part. It just It was just like a hair too long. Do that really quickly. So now when I go like this and I fold the paper in half, it's still sticking out a little on top, Oh, no, it isn't. A little bit, so I don't mind that. But see how the paper barely comes flush to the edge? That's just because I chopped it just slightly, like one or two millimeters narrower than the width of this thing, so that it fits perfectly. So I'm gonna do one more set. That was five sheets of paper. I'm gonna do one more set so I can get a nice thick notebook. Hold on a second, let me line this up as much as I can with the end. I'm gonna go to where the folder is. I'm gonna remove the folder. And I'm gonna take it just a little more and cut just a little more off. And then I'm gonna eyeball the top again. See, this is how much I cut off. I'm gonna cut off the same amount if I can. Help it. Okay, let's see how well I did. So one of the things that I love about Corey and Christie's how-tos on making planner goodies, pretty much just about right, is they instilled in me this idea that not everything has to be perfect. Because that's where a lot of women and mamas get stuck is this idea that everything has to be perfect. So even though the top of the paper is sticking out just a tiny amount there, I'm fine with that. Now in order to make your own traveler's notebooks, you do have to deal with stapling. Now you could just be really carefree and not even staple the inside seam because you kind of don't need to because the way you put them in these outside folders is that you put them on the inside like this. You might not even need staples. So you could just do it like that and not even use staples because the reason why I'm saying this is that I don't like suggesting anyone has to buy more stuff at their home that they, than they already have. But, because the only other way you can do a staple in the middle of these books is if you have this special stapler. This is a very long extended stapler. I think I bought it for 12, 11 or $12. It's by a brand called Sparko. I bought it on Amazon. I will link to it below. If you don't think you're gonna do this a lot, you really don't need to buy one of these, but I knew I was gonna do this a lot, so I bought one. And it's kind of hard to do. Um, let's see how well I do getting this right in the middle. Ah! I did it well, but guess what? That's the part that should be on the outside, not that part. So I already did this wrong. But you know what? So be it. I'm gonna mess up my nail polish. That's all right, I'm a mom. Okay, so I did that wrong because it's supposed to go this way, ladies. You probably thought, she's doing it wrong before I even did this. Okay. Ah, just as good, thank God. Okay, if you can see, there's a little edge hanging out. Do I really want to cut that off with the paper cutter? Maybe. I know I just said nothing has to be perfect, but this is something I can fix 
quite easily. Let me trim that edge real fast. There. Okay. Sorry if this video is taking a while. But I love how twos where you get to see the entire process. Perfect. Oh, I'm getting better at this. The first few notebooks I made with the stapler, they were not very nicely done. They were crooked. They were off center. Ah, yes. Okay, so there you have it. Oh, see, that one's a little off center. Darn it. Actually, so is that one. Oh, well. Okay, so there you have it, your own traveler's notebook. How easy was that to make? And then what I want to show you is how I'm going to decorate. So I don't, I'm not a big scrapbooker. It kind of overwhelms me. But what's easy enough to do is do your scrapbooking and memory keeping with cute little stickers. So, and you don't even have to go to a scrapbook store to find them. I found this cute little set, I think mostly because of these, actually no, look at this. It's a tiger with a party hat eating a piece of watermelon. How summery is that? Isn't that hilarious? I thought it was so funny. Hold on, can you see it there? You can. So I got this set for, for that reason. I got it at Ikea. Look at that, it's so cute, it folds up. And also because it has ice cream cones and seashells and that seemed, and a watermelon there, it seemed kind of summery to me. You can write things in here, stamp them, whatever you want. And then I became obsessed with this set of stickers and scrapping materials, scrapbooking materials from Simple Stories. It's a set called Sunshine and Happiness. I am obsessed with this woman right here with the sunglasses, obsessed. So anyways, I found, this I think is an old set of stickers and scrapbooking materials with this theme. So I found them on a site that I will link to down below because it seems like it's discontinued on the Simple Story site and a few other places. But I love it. Look, it says I love summer, good vibes, you and my sunshine. It just spoke to me about summer so I thought this would be a really great way to start doing some scrapbooking because a lot of the fun work is already done for me. So. Let's just show you how I'm going to do my scrapbooking. So I'm going to take my first page. I don't write on my first page ever. I'll put a cover on there or something. But I want to put something about how happy it was for my son's last day of school. This is, um, if you watched my previous video, you saw that these HP Sprocket pictures are all backed with sticker adhesive. And then let's add, because my son's last day of preschool was a moment to celebrate. Let's put a tiger down here. Now, what I can do with, you know, a pen, some markers, crayons, drawing, pencils, whatever, is write some notes down here, date, time, my feelings on this day, um, and then I'm gonna just keep adding elements between these cute little sticker pictures I printed out with my HP Sprocket and some scrapbook materials. Oh, I didn't want to. Sh I didn't even show you my my ephemera packs. I bought these in different websites. This is by a company called Jilly Bean. This is um, the Reset Girls collection she did for Carpe Diem. Um, you can see on the back all the different shapes that come in the pack. These just seemed all very summery to me. I love this bicycle. And I love florals. I love specific types of florals. These are my favorite, the very Rifle Paper Co. type of florals. Um, I have a whole pack of ephemera from the Sunshine and Happiness collection. And so I am basically gonna fill these books up all summer long. And you can make them small enough to just accommodate enough memory making for like a week long vacation you took. We just got back from San Diego and Legoland. I can put those pictures and memories in just one of these if I wanted and then put them all together in one of these. Um, I'll have to add some rubber bands, some elastics to allow me this notebook to hold them all, but that's possible. I think what I love about Traveler's Notebooks in the system is that you can keep adding to it. It's very modular. To use a term my dad, who's an architect, says a lot. 
about architecture. But look at that's three notebooks, very easily fitting. And I can just make these as I go. I can take these with me on trips with my HP sprocket. You know, I can do this from the road if I want. Um, I'm not sure about you, but I love scrapbooking. It's very relaxing. Thank you for checking out this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it very useful. I know that someone on my Instagram feed, someone who follows me, had asked me to do this HP Sprocket review. And I hope that was helpful in the previous part one version of the vid this video that I've done. And hopefully if you aren't even a planner girl or even an avid scrapbooker, but want to do some memory keeping, especially, you know, if you have kids or if you go on amazing vacations with your loved ones, um, hopefully this gives you some ideas for how to do this in a way that I think makes kind of a lot of sense and is kind of fun. Um, so anyways, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. If you're a working mama like me struggling with that work-life balance or just you're a busy mom or a busy woman or a busy person and um, like the stuff that I do every week. Um, thank you so much for checking out this video and I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye.